Have you felt flustered lately? Maybe frazzled, maybe frantic. Three F's that we really don't want to have in our lives, but too often we are dealing with those very things. We find our energy levels depleting, our anxiety levels rising. What are we supposed to do? It's certainly not the way God wants us to live our lives. Well, Dr. Trudy Pieper joins us again this week with some additional natural health ideas on ways to combat basically what it's like to be an American. That's what it feels like. It is, and I, it's a chaotic world today. Um, I don't know if it's more so than when I was younger, but it certainly seems that way. And as a busy parent and now a grandmother, um, businesswoman, it's just, there's so much to do all the time. And it's hard to remember, I, I have a lot of Amish patients and they have a wonderful saying in the Amish language and it's demute. And demute means let go and let God, you know, don't be so prideful to think that you're in control of anything. And so when you get frazzled and you're, you're frantic and you're thinking that you've got to control and do this, you need to take a step back and say, you know, really God's got this. This is not me. Demute, let go and let God. Well, God has certainly given you some great knowledge that you just so wonderfully share with all of our viewers. What are some ways that uh, we can help demute in the midst of our busy lives? Well, we start with a couple of things. Um, we can't take the stresses away and we wish we could, but we can't. So the next best thing that we do in natural health is we have some um, herbs that are uh, called adaptogens. And adaptogens help your body adapt to the stress. They don't take the stress away, but it makes it so you don't respond in a stressful way towards those stressors. Um, there are a couple of them that are really effective. Um, ashwagandha. Now ashwagandha boosts mood, builds energy, it also builds your memory. So right there, that's a, a good reason to mm -hmm. do that. It also lowers that cortisol level. We know when we're under stress, the body shoots out, the adrenals make more cortisol, which then is, turns into a, a, a adrenaline. And so we're now on edge, we're stressed, we're biting heads off of nails. Mm -hmm. And so we need to have something that will calm that down. And ashwagandha will do that. It, uh, clinical studies found that it also increases oxygen mm. uh, consumption which over, just overall supports your health. And we know with energy, energy comes when red blood cells carry oxygen through the body. Mm -hmm. So this is another source of allowing when you're, because we tend to shallow breathe when we're under stress, <sighs> yes. instead of taking deep breaths. So when the oxygen you get in your body, the ashwagandha will also actually help the red blood cells carry that through, helping you feel more energetic with that. And it also modifies anxiety. So a lot of benefits there that yes. can come from that. From uh, just an adaptogenic herb. Yes. And another one would be um, rhodiola. And rhodiola, I, I think that, again, God created these wonderful plants. And you think about rhodiola, it grows in the high mountain areas of Asia and Europe. Well, if it's high up in a mountain, then it's got to be good, in my it, opinion. It, there you go. <laughs> well, it's got a lot of fresh air. It's growing up there. But also, it means it has good stamina, and it resists the elements of the weather up there to be able to stand and to survive. Mm -hmm. So those are characteristics that passes on to us when, mm -hmm. we, when we use rhodiola because it increases your stamina and your endurance to help you get through your busy, hectic days. So it, um, it also diminishes fatigue. And, and one key thing that it does a little bit differently than the ashwagandha is that it helps your attention span. It allows you to stay focused longer on, on tasks. So in addition, it helps with your memory. Now, is it safe for someone to just go to the health food store and purchase these, or is it better than to have them talk with someone like you or another natural health doctor who can direct how that these should be taken? You know, adaptogenic herbs, uh, I don't, can't think of any that are harmful. And usually the, the manufacturer's recommended dose is, uh, is usually safe. However, if you want to know if this is the right one for you, there are probably, I can think of 24 adaptogenic herbs. And not one, everyone will not work for everybody. It depends upon what your symptoms are and what you're dealing with. Men work with certain, um, maca is a, a, an adaptogenic herb that works better on men than it does on women. So these are just general suggestions. Absolutely, if you have someone who's a professional can help you determine which adaptogenic herb are best for you, but it's a good starting place.